Early this morning, SpaceX launched Crew 2 out of NASA's Kennedy Space Station, carrying four astronauts from three countries up to the International Space Station. Good morning, ESM. At West Jenny, two students did what is called the George Floyd Challenge, where someone kneeled on another person's neck. This is the second time students have done this on social media, but the recent post was from a different school. Students from West Jenny plan to go on a rally today, and the superintendent is encouraging it. In other news, on Tuesday, a child reported trapped inside a vending machine at Destiny Mall. Firefighters from Engine Company 2 and Rescue 1 responded to the call and were able to disassemble the machine and get the child out and no one was injured. Attention all lifters! The weight room will be closed at 5 p.m. on Monday, April 26th and Tuesday, April 27th. Please see Coach Twitchell with any questions and please stand for the Pledge of Allegiance. I pledge allegiance to the flag of the United States of America and to the republic for which it stands, one nation under God, indivisible, with liberty and justice for all. better than yesterday with a high of 60 and sun. Over the weekend we'll have temperatures of 65 and 55 with a chance of a morning shower on Sunday. Next week looks to be much warmer than this one. No chance of snow this time. In the middle of the week next week we might reach 80 degrees. Uh, all sun again. I'm Emily through weather. Last night, the JV girls volleyball team defeated JD last night, two sets to one. They were led by the strong serve of Brooke Kirkpatrick to wrap their season up, finishing with a record of 13-1. The varsity girls volleyball team lost 3-0 lost against JD last night with lots of effort by Elena Day, who had eight assists and had two aces to contribute to the game. The girls finished their season with a record of 6-7. In the MLB, the New York Yankees beat the Cleveland Indians 6-3. Glaber Torres had three hits on the day and one RBI. Kyle Higoshio Higashioka had two hits, one being a 420 foot solo home run in the eighth. In the NBA, the Anthony Davis returned to the Lakers starting lineup, but the Lakers ultimately lost to the Dallas Mavericks 115 to 110 with Luka Doncic pouring in 30 points. NBA prospect Terrence Clark died in a car, last day, car accident last night in Los Angeles. Clark went to Kentucky and was a five-star census All-American. In upcoming games, the boys volleyball team plays at Oswego. The football team plays Saturday at home against Shady. And I'm Tanley Sports. And from everybody here in the morning show, hope you have a great day.